let me introduce Mrs. Clarissa Rankin and Mrs. Shakira Kersey, a.k.a. Yay, Sassy, the Trump Boss. What's good, ladies? Hey. hey. What's up? Yeah. We here. We, we here. Oh. Okay, baby. So how did y'all to me? Because people are going to want to know, are y'all, is this a duo? Are y'all a tag team? Is it, how, how did we? What? Okay, so. What had happened was. What well, had happened was, and I'll make it short. Okay, so we both live in Charlotte. Okay. So she was on Instagram. She messaged and said, hey, I'm in the area. I didn't know you was in Charlotte. Okay. So we should get up because we both do trucking. Yes, and this woman don't sit on this line and try to talk about me. I don't even do stuff like that. I don't. Yes, I sent her ass a cease and desist when she got on this internet and tried to bash my name because you are claiming that I stole money from this and I did this, baby. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in today's episode is drama. School drama down in North Carolina. In this clip that was sent to me by a follower, we're going to listen to what happened between the relationship between Sassy the Truck Boss and Clarissa Rankin, co-owners of what was the RK Trucking Academy. Shout out to Clarissa Rankin with over a million followers on TikTok, and she's one of the biggest influential trucking females on that platform. And also shout out to Sassy the Truck Boss. Listen, Sassy got the trifecta going on, bro. Not only that she's a truck driver, but she's a diesel mechanic and she's an army brat. <laughs> Man, she got the total, total package. Now, I don't know what happened. I'm just like you guys. I'm on the outside looking in. It seems as though that Sassy and Clarissa is no longer co-owners of R&K Trucking Academy, which has been renamed Road Knowledge Academy in North Carolina. What sticks out about this particular truck driving school is that this is in a mall. Yes, the truck driving school is actually in the mall. And I think it's on the first floor of the mall, the parking lot, which on the other side of the mall, where the skills test for the truck driving commence. In this clip that we're gonna listen to, we're gonna possibly see what happened. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I started this school shit. I was on. The, I can show y'all every email and correspondent I've been having with the state for four years. The lady that we bought this school from was a connect that I had. The way we got those walls built was my friend from school. The man that came and looked at our HVAC system, that was my friend. Yes, I had man bringing me strawberries and champagne. Yes, I had a man who bought me a car. Yes, and I still drive that car. It seems as though that you had a man for everything. And, and it's always good to have friends. I tell you, it's always it's always good to have friends in some good places. He bought that car for me. Yes. And this woman on set on this line and try to talk about me. I don't even do stuff like that. I don't. Yes, I sent her ass a cease and desist when she got on this internet and tried to bash my name because she Oh. Okay, so that's uh, that's what happened. Okay, okay, let's continue. You are claiming that I stole money from this and I did this, baby. My name, Shakira Kersey, was on RK's American Express. That's why my lawyer told me. Ooh, I don't even have an American Express. And I do got a good credit rating, though. My, my credit score is teetering on 800. So do you think I got enough to get a, at least a black card? No, I don't think I got enough for a black card. Maybe a bronze American Express. I don't 
know if American Express is going to give me a card, though, because American Express was one of those cards that I had back in the day and I found bankruptcy on. So maybe I don't know. You just send the bank statements, but you still ain't sent the bank statements, right? You fired your lawyer, too, when your lawyer told you that you didn't have a case, right? If I did all these things that you said I did, shouldn't I be in jail? Hmm. If I did all these things that you said I did, don't you have a case? Hmm. But instead, what you try to do, you try to change the name of the business, but you can't do that. You can't do that. You went to our business lawyer. Yeah, let's talk about it. You went to our business lawyer. You try to get him to represent you, but he wouldn't represent your ass. So he stopped answering the phone for you because you was getting on his nerves. Oh, you think I don't know? Yeah. It sounds like some backdoor shenanigans going on over there, man. But what the internet has really taught me, though, the internet and social media really taught me what not to do. A couple of people in the comment section saw it coming. A lot of people seen it coming, man. I seen it coming. Well, you gotta go. Clarissa Rankin, the controversy with her is out there. A lot of it is hard to find. I'm, I'm just gonna say, a lot of it is hard to find. I've, I've been following Clarissa Rankin for years and I, I noticed that she had some issues with a couple of YouTubers. She collaborated with Party Hard for a little bit and that relationship went to the wayside. She collaborated with Trucker Brown, who in my opinion, and it's only my opinion, don't, don't get mad at me because that's how I knew her. That's how I came across her was from Trucker Brown. And again, I, I did have the pleasure of speaking with Clarissa Rankin a few times. She had a former partner that was doing the trucker beauty thing. Clarissa, uh, Cl uh, Clarissa, uh -huh. um, you, you, you go, you, you go by the code name of, uh, you go by the code name of Cotton Candy, uh, for the platform. Uh, -huh. uh Correct. Trucker. We use handle names. Truck, trucker beauties, man. I mean, wh where did the idea come from? Well, the idea came from originally two years ago. I was riding my truck, and I, everywhere I go, I always get asked, why are you driving truck? You're too beautiful. Or, oh, my God, you need to be at home. And you always look like that. How can you drive your truck with your mom and How do you wear your makeup? How do you wear your makeup every day? How do you do your hair? I get all these questions asked. So exactly what is Trucker Beauties? Trucker Beauties is a, um, it's a platform mm -hmm. that I decided to create because when I was on the truck, we would be weeks and weeks of just we're all work and no play. And my saying is all work and no play makes me a sad girl. It was more like a playboy for trucks at the time, but that relationship went to the wayside as well. So Clarissa had her dramas with, with different influencers. I'm just saying. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show i know yeah, then you try to be in cahoots with my ex, which is fine, because little did he know I was fighting for him every fucking day for us to pay him. And what, what was you saying every day? We're not paying him. We're going to pay me first. And my husband, my husband, Joey, truth, though, the real reason why me and you was going back and forth is because everything for you is about the image, what people think, what people see. I agree. Sorry, Clarissa, but I, I got to agree with her on that one. I really do, because... You have over a million followers, close to 18, but I'm I'm tripping on the fact that you've been stuck at 18 million followers 
for almost a year and a half. I, I don't know what's up. That that probably might be TikTok. Or maybe that's just a TikTok thing. I don't know. But still, though, Clarissa do have a, a image that she definitely want to keep. And she don't want to be seen as a, I guess, confrontational young lady. And that's fair. The image that you that you put on the internet is going to be totally different than what you probably portray in real life. So again, like I said, I, I had the pleasure of talking to this young lady and I, I didn't have a problem with her the last two times that we spoke. It was great conversation. I come to find out myself that she don't rock with your boy anymore through a podcast of her and party hard and come to find out it was because of my association and my opinion on paying influencers to come on podcasts or or talk to people or have a conversation or anything like that. Cause you ain't got no beef for me. She said, I told you don't play with my money. Ding, 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 ding. You see this bitch Tick and Talk got a whole bunch of followers. So she wanted me to pay $10,000 to go on her Tick and Talk page. My event was 95% sold out. I don't need you bitch. I'm not paying for that. She only paid five thousand to go on her um, IG. I don't pay. For, I'm not doing that. I had a strong opinion about that, and I guess that's probably why she doesn't rock with me anymore. But again, I follow her. I still is amazed that at her journey is from where she came from. So shout out to her. That's all it's about for me. I'm really about teaching people. I'm big about teaching people. When we got into this business, I was supposed to be over operations and trucks. You were supposed to be over admin. I was supposed to control the um, the yard. You were supposed to control the driving part. You wouldn't let nobody do anything. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you would have the students give your you would give the students your personal number. So every time me and KJ would tell the students they need to do this, they felt like they didn't have to listen to us. So they would call your personal phone and get and get the okay or whatever from you. Mm -hmm. And when I brought that to your attention, that was a problem. Mm -hmm. Y'all explain to me how I was supposed to do business with somebody like this. Yeah! Well you'll you'll learn the fast way. You're gonna learn today. Well, everything that you see on the internet is is it's definitely for show and again a lot of people in the in in this particular comment session is saying yeah they she was the wrong person to go into business with she had issues with trucking guru uh, she turned face on trucking guru she turned face on a whole lot of influencers i i don't know that to be true but i came across trucking guru when she had her controversy earlier this year and a TikTok that was on Clarissa's page is no longer there, but it showed Clarissa getting ready for the Trucking Guru's party. It showed her leaving North Carolina. The trucking Guru got her a nice little Maybach and showed her the town. And Clarissa documented it all on the TikTok, which is now in the atmosphere. Because when I was doing my research for this video, I was trying to find it. So the relationship between her and the trucking guru has is soured as well. And then when you swear I stole money from you or you swear money was wrong, I sent you a message and I'm going to send it to your husband. Then you had the audacity to send me a message talk about I sleep um, with my I sleep on my mama couch and whatever the fuck you said, Clarissa. When we open this school, <laughs> before we open this school, because we, we got to talk about this. Because it's one thing for certain and two things for sure. There's no shame in my in my game. So let's talk about it. We sick. It's sick. It's, it's sick in the mind. So, um, I mean, I went through a... T man, it was just sick, man. But it was just sick and sad. Lies and backstabbing and you name it, it was happening. It's like, what the f What is going on, right? Why would you put my family, why would my family go through this? Why would you take food away from my table? Like, Lord, why me? Why me? Then next thing you know, it was like the God started talking to me as I talked to him. And he said, why not you? When I tell you, I have been through the storm. The storm, baby. The storm. I don't ever, 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 ever want to get on God's bad side. Well, there you have it. Clarissa Rankin side of it. If you guys want to hear all of this without my commentary, 
you guys could go over there and check out Trucker Snap on TikTok. Shout out to Trucker Snap. Shout out to the follower that sent me the link to this video to react to. Definitely go over there and let them know Lockout Men sent you. So what do you guys think, man? Clarissa Rankin is one of TikTok's most influential truck drive, female truck driver on the platform with over 18 million. And I'm going to say over, even though it does not actually say how many followers that she got true to this day. But I'm going to say it's over 18 million followers that she had amassed on that platform. What's your guys' thoughts about it? You guys know there's always three sides of the story. There's one side, the other side, and then there's the truth in the middle that I believe nobody ain't going to really get. I don't know. But let me know what your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And has anybody graduated from her school? If so, we would love to know how the experience for you at Road Knowledge Training Academy in North Carolina. All right. We would love to know how the experience, how the experience there. Until next time, everybody. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you would have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.